So you pretty much just answered everything for me in that last, <laughs> in that last moment. Well, that was everything about everything. That was everything about everything. Yeah. Now it's just going to take a little practice. Now it just takes practice, exactly. And so I think that's just exactly where I am, which is way out there in three, four, five, three, four, five, and I've summoned so much, and I just want to see it all really like let go. I just want to let go and let it come in and just. When you talk about the we ness and well, the us ness. When you're living in the now, let's say that this now, we're going to hear more from you, but let's say that this now doesn't quite yet include a full blown see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it manifestation of what you want. Mm -hmm. It doesn't include it. So what are you going to do? How are you going to approach this now that doesn't include it? Are you going to approach it with lack consciousness? Where's this stuff I want? Or are you going to look for what is there? You're going to look for what's there. You're going to notice what isn't there because there was a little bit of that. I just want to relax and allow it. And the unspoken words were allow it to develop into all that I want it to be. And we want to find a way to help you find and make peace and feel satisfaction with now because, oh, now holds everything that you want. The now that you're going to live when the manifestation has happened does not have the potential of being richer and sweeter than the now before it has happened in terms of manifestation. You heard it, but did you hear it? Yes. <laughs> this now that does not quite yet include the manifestation of the lover that you want or the money that you want in your bank account. This now holds all of the potential for satisfaction that the now will hold once the lover's there and the money's in the bank. Can you accept that? If you've come along with us, and we know that you have in this discussion of this powerful now, because what is the satisfaction in any moment in time? What is the satisfaction of now? Think about it. We've been talking about it all day. What is the true satisfaction of now? Me being in sync with my inner being's broader point of view about the same subject. So my inner being understands something that I may not understand. My inner being knows that the journey started way before the hundred thousand dollars came in order to take me on a vacation. My inner being enjoyed the contrast, enjoyed that part of the journey. My inner being enjoyed the questions and me tossing things into my vortex. My inner being enjoyed that part of it. My inner being enjoyed watching law of attraction, gather all of the aspects. My inner being enjoyed the gestation process of the vortex. My inner being enjoyed the momentum of the vortex getting more and more and more. And my inner being enjoyed watching me getting closer and closer and closer to being in harmony with it. And my inner being enjoyed me being in harmony with it. My inner being enjoyed that joyous now where I was in harmony with the vortex in harmony with the vortex it hasn't manifested yet it hasn't manifested yet but when I'm in harmony with what's in it it's as good as if it is manifested it's just gonna manifest mm -hmm. it's like the subject we've given you this story before you're on your way somewhere so likes to drive long distances so 500 miles in this day is easy six is even better seven's even better 700 miles in a day Ooh, what a good day that is so much that you can see in a day when you've driven 700 miles and even better if you get to drive day after day after day after day after day like that the more beautiful things and more and more and more and more and more and you're on your way she's in san diego and she's on her way to new york Ooh, on her way to new york on her way to new york not in new york on her way to new york not in new york on her way to new york where are you going new york are you there yet no 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 not in new york not in new york not in five days not yet in new york not in new york not in new york not there yet not there yet not there yet not there yet so what so what does it matter that you're not there no it doesn't because where are you you are where you are and it's beautiful here too all the wonderful things that are going to be in New York are here right now. Everything that you're looking for in your manifestations is here right now. This universe can yield to you every single thing that you want in every moment. Talk about a microcosm that is ripe and abundant with the ability to thrill you, you see. But if you're shortage consciousness about where you're not yet, then you have put yourself in a position where you're shut down and you're now cannot yield to you what it has the potential of yielding to you. You think we're trying to talk you out of manifestations, but we're not. You think we're trying to talk you out of needing to be where you want to be in order to be happy. We're not talking you out of continuing the journey. We want all the full manifestations for you. It is a delicious thing to be in a physical body 
and to come to an awareness of what you want and to hold yourself in that place where it's lovely 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 and we acknowledge when the manifestation of what you're looking for occurs that is the sweetest 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 experience mm -hmm. but when the manifestation matters so much that the not yet manifestation of it is painful then there's something that is really out of whack you see what more is there to say I mean <laughs> It almost feels wrong to go back then into where I get stuck because I really do get exactly what you're saying and I, I really do like my now and my now is pretty extraordinary and I always really do end up getting where I want to go but now I'm at this place and I understand better how I create and it's not just me it's a much larger group so I was really intrigued by when you were talking about the we, the me's and the us-ness and the... That's and one of the strong, strong five points that we're wanting you to take away from this gathering. Because when you really get it, that you are part of a collective consciousness and that all of you is being satisfied and that all of you can get everything that you want and that in your interaction with each other that you're yielding to each other what you are wanting then you realize that there's no possibility of you not getting what you want that your receiving of something can in no way deprive anyone else of it the vortex is that abundant it's that nurtured it's that understood and it is that tended to it's that powerful it's that creative it's that wonderful it is that potential but in order for you to get from the vortex what you deserve you have to understand that the vortex is all of that you see what we're getting at you have to understand that it is that begin watching in the days that are coming those moments when you have true realization that you and another or maybe many others were served at the same time served at the same time when before you felt that it was one or the other of us that could be served because there's this sense that the pie is only so big and if I get my big slice and somebody else gets their big slice that after a while the slices will all be divided out and newcomers will not have access to any slices and it is never like that the vortexual pie is exponentially expanding and it isn't even just the sum of what you have individually put into it let's imagine that there are 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 or a billion of you it doesn't matter what number you want to assign to this exercise and that you've all put your request for something into the vortex and so here's this vortex that is responding to what you've all asked for but the sum of the vortex is not just the sum of the individual requests that you've put in because the vortex has taken on a life of its own as it's been responding to the other requests that are there and so the vortex itself is bigger than the sum of what you've all put into it and so that's why you get way more out of it than only what you've put into it that's why everybody gets satisfied by what's there everybody receives the results that they're looking for and your result in no way can deprive anybody else from their result but this conversation in order for you to grasp it you are grasping it we are really pleased with how you followed this conceptual imaginary vortex that you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch yet but as you accept the existence of it and you put the one component that is necessary it's a big piece of what this conversation for these days is going to be about as you work to foster your sense of worthiness as you work to foster your sense of I like me as you deliberately think thoughts about yourself and look for reasons to like yourself and take everyone else out of the equation you just find if you can your relationship with your own inner being until you are trusting in the goodness that comes to you the combination of that feeling of worthiness and what this exponentially expanded law of attraction based vortex has to yield to you you're going to find yourself walking through life feeling like the most blessed person that you've ever known ever 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 it's that abundant and your receptive ability is that great but it takes some practice and it's not going to be about only the big things that come like the fortunes or the relationships or the empires or the whatever it is that you might have your sights on it's the rendezvous here and there it's the way you are 
touched. It's the insightful feelings that you have. It's your sense of well-being. It's your sense of placement in the world. It's your sense of understanding of the greater universe. It's your sense of who you are and how you came. It's your sense of continuity and continuum of who you really are. It's your bigness. It's your wholeness. It's your feeling of wholeness as you are moving about the world with others who are also catching on to their wholeness. And so when conscious beings like you who have found a way to be consistently whole begin rendezvousing with others of you who have consistently found how to be whole then what happens in your individual experiences is that there's an exponential explosion which is what you came for not to fix things that are broken but to explore the boundaries of your ability to identify desires who life is so good on planet earth <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction immensely we are more eager about our next meeting than we have ever been ever 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 there is no homework just eat drink and be merry there is great love here for you Thank and you. for now we are complete. so good so good i love you guys so good